とびっかちゅう Hello everyone, my name is Cleve from the Twitch stream Friendship Supreme. Welcome to only my second Pokemon challenge. The last challenge I did was received pretty well, and now I want to get back in. Today, we're going to be playing Let's Go Pikachu using only Bug Type. Now, there are only six Bug Pokemon, and they aren't the best. But just to make things a little harder, since Let's Go Pikachu is so generous with their items, I'm going to add that I will not once buy anything from the item shop. This will actually come into play more than I imagined when I started because certain moves are in the shop only, not to mention no full restores that I can buy in bulk like Costco for the Elite Four. Comment below and try to guess how many Pokeballs I'll have at the end of this thing. I named myself Bug Catcher Cleave and my rival, the only one that makes sense to bugs. I get my buddy Pokemon and name him after my real life buddy, Michael. I wanted something pretty to look at, so I gifted myself the most beautiful Caterpie. This is my official starter. Welcome, Hercules. I am out to help Hercules get past the 12 labors. Wish us luck. The next teammate, Perseus. This is all I get for the first gym. I go and grind the only way I can, via battle, and I am able to get Hercules into a Metapod and head to Brock. Only to find out that I need a grass or water type, I have officially failed the challenge. So the video isn't shorter, I go to catch Oddish. Name it Technicality, and go back. Show off my shame, battle the minions, and evolve Perseus to Kakuna. This is the best my team will get against Brock. Hercules level 9, Perseus level 7. I go into the battle with Brock, and the strat is simple. I need to poison these Pokemon. I go for Harden to buy myself time. Use one of the few potions I have to keep my strat going. I need this thing to get harder. Finally, I get a poison but I have to use another potion. I can't lose a stat boost, and just keep using the only attack I have, Poison Sting. For those counting, that's three potions in this one fight. Geodude drops, and Onyx comes out. Rock Throw hurts, but the strat stays the same. I need him to get poisoned. After another potion, and four Poison Stings, Onyx finally gets poisoned, and I use the rest of the health to slow him down. Another potion, which, again, hurts with the no store access. Lots of resources on this first gym. I slow him down more and let the poison work from the inside. Finally, I switch to Hercules. Harden again and poison takes the dub. We got our first gym badge. High five and a new look. Shiny Butterfree Hercules. This fight took me two attempts. I was just gonna give this slow poke an exam real quick. Then we catch our new teammate, Memnon the Paris. And Perseus evolves. Two teammates fully evolved. Nice. We go check out Missy's gym and Level 15. I forgot how much Let's Go makes you do specific things. So, we go catch a Venonet, who I forgot to name. And we meet a man who... Look, I don't judge people or their fetishes. Go back to show my level 15 and get into the fight. Misty starts with Psyduck, and we start with Memnon, the great warrior of Troy. Grass on our side. Should be no problem, right? Stuns pour out the gate, then hit growth for plus attack and special attack. Use our super potion, because those confusions are hitting a little harder than I thought they would. Then, we absorb, but I'm too slow, and we lose the one Pokemon I think is going to carry us through this battle. Then, we start using the famous Paraflinch. Proud? No, but needed to be done. Next is Starmie, and this Pokemon is no game to play with. I switch to Perseus, and just slow Starmie down by two levels. Then, we go for Twin Needle, a bug attack that can also poison. Get the poison, but another Pokemon down. I throw Venonet in, who I forget to change his name still, and go for Supersonic, and it actually hit. Poison? Confused? This Starmie is on its last leg. Hercules comes in and drops Starmie. High five. This fight ended up taking me three attempts. This game makes me uncomfortable sometimes. Finally, I make it to Surge. Labor number three. Voltorb versus Perseus. We slow him down. Then switch to Memnon, who resists electric. Give a quick special defense, then, of course, get paralyzed. Growth my attack and special attack twice, heal up, attack and special attack one more time, get rid of paralysis, and finally use absorb and get some of that health back. Not a lot, but it saves me from using another potion. Three absorbs and Voltorb is down. Magnemite is next, and I heal again, just to be safe. This is too many potions, so early in this challenge. Paralyzed again, Memnon digs his little feet into the ground, and boom, one hit. 
Riot you next, and I super potion again out of concern. Quick attack alone did a lot. Memnon digs, one hit, badge is mine. Third labor complete. Surge took me five attempts. Memnon involves into his greatest form, and we're at labor four, Erica. You want to see a cute Pokemon? Look at Hercules. Erica sends out Tangela, and we go Perseus. Poison, bug, death. This fight was so boring, I took a nap in between. Perseus drops this Medusa wannabe. Next, Vileplume. Moonblast wasn't super nice to me, so we switched to Memnon. Leech Life isn't helpful enough, and Memnon falls in the battle. Hercules comes out, and we decide to deal with Vileplume later. Hercules quiver dances, and, well, thanks. Remus comes out, since I miscalculated with Hercules, and gives some side beams. Poison Jab isn't very effective, but tell that to my HP. Remus down. Perseus, you're back in the game. Three hits, we take out Weepin' Bell, Vile Plume comes back, we take in a Super Potion, and Pin Missile is the name of the game. We win on 8 HP. This fight was a little tougher than I thought it'd be, but this fight only took me one attempt. Remus evolves, and our whole team has fully evolved. We learn there is life after death, which I feel we don't acknowledge enough. We catch Scyther, meet our buddy Archie, and use Pokemon Go to get our last member of our team, Pinsir giving them the names Romulus, who Remus doesn't trust for some strange reason, and Theseus. And at this point in the game, four labors in, we have all the Pokemon we're going to have. We enter Koga's gym. 50 Pokemon, son of a Well, to not cheat by my rules, I'll remove my team, add Michael, and go catch Pokemon. Me too, man. Me too. I take out the fighting gym with my team, since it's a quote-unquote legal XP, beat up the rocket camp, and then go catch the 50 Pokemon. I know, man. Head to Koga's gym, and work my way through to Koga. After clearing house, of course. Koga starts with Weezing. We start with Perseus. Koga protects. I'd be scared, too. Drill run! Ooh, not as much as I thought. And he goes for the dirty explosion. Both pokes down. Next, Memnon versus Muck. Sludge Bomb hurts, but we can give him the Z's and switch to Theseus. Swords Dance, dig, done. Golbat, tough counter. He flies, we live, and thrash him to the ground. Venomoth next. Bug Buzz drops us. Romulus next. Protect all you want, Koga. Wing attack. Even poison, this is over. Fifth badge, mine. This fight took me just two attempts. Straight to Sabrina. Show off our level 45 Pokemon. Teleport to her and start the fight. Mr. Mime vs. Memnon. Reflect setup, but it's time for Sleepy. We take the time for growth, times two. Leech Life does decent health. We live two Psychics and give him another nap for more growth. At this point, I'm hoping for a Memnon sweep. One down. Jinx, great counter. Lovely kiss, and I'm the one for the nap. Take a Psychic, wake up. Leech Life, second down. Slowbro next, and I get yawned. I am able to get a KO before the next turn, though. Alakazam is last, Nightshade, Leech Life, 6 Labor Down. This fight took me one Pokemon for one attempt. Next is the gym that I've been worried about since I thought about this challenge. Blaine. I enter some Japanese game show, win, and the prize is a shot at Blaine. Spoiler alert, I need more than one attempt. Magmar versus Perseus. Confused, I still get the drill run off. Good start. Flamethrower is a one-hit KO, though. Next, Hercules, who has been waiting for time to shine. Confused again, I can get my Quiver Dance off. This should make me faster for the rest of the fight. Air Slash, Magmar down. Next is Rapidash. Air Slash, but Flare Blitz hits like a truck. Recoil helps, though. Venomoth next. I thought I could outspeed, but goes down two. I am down three pokes. Blaine is down two. Not great for me. Thank goodness for recoil. Memnon next. My four times weak against fire Pokemon. Out comes Ninetales. Spore maybe? The attack missed. Ninetales is asleep. This is what we needed. Bad. Theseus out. Swords dance. I live a fire blast to the face and dig like my life depends on it because it does. Ninetales is out of my life. Last, the legend himself, Arcanine. I'm too slow and die to the crunch. Romulus is out and we outspeed the wing attack, but it doesn't matter. Flare Blitz KOs again. Last is my poor baby who has four times weak to fire. I use my back survive on Remus and say goodnight to the sweet prince. The game is on you, Remus. Sludge bomb with fingers crossed and we get the KO. Blaine is down. This fight took me 11 attempts. Straight to the final gym. This is only the eighth labor. Giovanni. Team recap. Spin. Fight. Dugtrio versus Hercules. Twinkle, twinkle. Avoid sucker punch with the quiver dance. Bug buzz. Bye bye.
Rhyhorn comes out and we give them the same treatment. Needle Queen, Bug Buzz, not as much. Crunch, Air Slash, Flinch, Crunch, Remus comes out and takes that little bit of health. Needle King joins the party and I quickly paralyze. Earthquake is neutral, but I can't hurt this guy. Remus faints and we move on to Romulus. Go figure, right? As soon as Remus falls, Romulus shows up. Swords Dance, Poison Jab, Air Slash, Poison Jab, Poison, Romulus down. Dang poison. Theseus, you're up. Rock Slide does nothing, but does get flinch. We dig, predicting poison jab, and not earthquake, and get the knock. Eighth badge, eighth labor. This was one attempt. I tried to sit in the chair and couldn't. Missed opportunity, Game Freak. We head into the Elite Four. Keep in mind, there is no leveling too high, as we can only level by battle. No items to buy either, so we fight everyone. Dugong is Lord Light's start, and we go Remus. Stun Spore gets an early paralyze, and Waterfall takes half. We switch to Theseus, take hits as we power up two Swords Dance, use a Super Potion, then Brick Break. Slowbro, X Scissor, Jinx, X Scissor, after living a Blizzard, Cloyster, Hyper Potion. We take a Hydro Pump pretty well, but Cloyster takes a Brick Break pretty dang well too. Finally, Cloyster down, who, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to be such a problem. Last, Lapras. And one Brick Break drops her. More items than I would have liked, but whatever. This fight took me three attempts. Next, Bruno. Onyx versus Remus, who isn't healed. Bug Buzz hurts, but Stealth Rocks is set up. Paralyze, live an Earthquake, and switch to Rumulus, avoiding another Earthquake. Swords Dance, but Iron Tail hurts. Roost, Iron Tail, Roost, Swords Dance, Iron Tail, Roost, X Scissor, Night Night. Hitmonlee is out, and this is what the sword dances were for. Wing Attack, one hit. Ma Champ, one hit. Hitmonchan, same fate. Polyrath, still fighting type, one wing attack. And Bruno is down. Bruno took all of one attempt. I use the small rations I have to get the team back in shape, and we move to Agatha. Along with some rare candies. We start the fight with Agatha. Arbok and Theseus hit the floor. Stealth Rocks hits, but I get paralyzed. Remus comes out, takes a little tickle, and starts hitting with Psychic. We exchange sicknesses, but my Pokemon loves me more. Next, a Golbat, who is fast. Hercules hits the floor, and we deal with Golbat later. Quiver Dance to outspeed the Gengar, but she is strong. Air Slash drops him, and Weezing tries to fry me, but two Air Slashes gets him down too. Golbat is back, and I air slash again. Second Gengar, air slash for all, basically. Another one-shot attempt. Patch up the team, then Lance, the Dragon Trainer. Seedra versus Theseus. Hydro Pump crit, but we lay groundwork for later. Remus comes out, and again, Hydro Pump. What's the PP on that, five? We give out the paralysis, and we scream away the water. Hercules is next. Quiver dance, but no more Hydro Pumps. Quiver again, and finally, we get the paralysis. We jump our stats up as far as we can, because we will need it. But I get hit with a crit Dragon Pulse. Wasn't ready for that, if I'm being honest. Romulus is next, and this is looking bad. Swords dance, because I need it. Dragon Pulse, Wing Attack, and thank goodness another Paralysis. Swords Dance again, now that we're up four, and Dragon Pulse to the face. Wing Attack, and we are one Pokemon down. Terrible start, by the way. Aerodactyl comes out, and Stealth Box helps a lot. We roost to see what we get, and Rock Slide goes first and misses. Rock Slide is gonna hurt. Second attempt works, and we go down. Four Pokemon left, and two are hurt real bad. Memnon comes out, Rock Slide hits and flinches. Memnon down. Remus limps back out, we shout, and get a Toxic. That'll help a lot if we can live. Next Rock Slide gets it. We are dropping fast. Theseus next, 44 HP left, so we Hyper Potion. Rock Slide, of course, takes us to half health, but the Toxic is working in our favor. Hyper Potion again, which is not ideal, but the last idea I got, and Rock Slide. I thought this move missed sometimes. We, swor we Swords Dance taking a chance, and it failed. Poison claims the victim, and Perseus is all that remains. Gyarados comes out and takes nice stealth rock damage. Waterfall takes more than half, and we poison jab, hoping for a poison that doesn't come. We take the next turn to max potion Theseus, and Waterfall kills. No, we live on one. String shot to slow him down, but he is faster, and Waterfall ki- No! We live on one. Speed drop helps us go first, and Waterfall ki- we live on one. Poison jab again, because why not, and we take down the Gyarados. This is unbelievable. Charizard is next, and Stealth Rocks hurts. Air Slash ki We live on one. Poison jab. We avoid Air Slash, and Poison jab drops the Charizard. What is happening? Dragonite comes out, why not slow him down? Outrage goes first, and Perseus 
lives on one. I don't know what to say except Perseus is a warrior and wants this. Finally, we die to Outrage. Theseus comes out and drops rocks even though Outrage hurts. Rocks slide again for the KO. We beat Lance. After what I can only describe as a killer bee that ran the entire fight. This fight took me three attempts. We patch ourselves up and head into the next fight until we are called champion having to use rare candies as revives. We walk in to find Osprey being the only thing that stands in my way. I'm going through that door. I stand lifeless in excitement. Pidgeot versus Remus. Pidgeot Mega Evolves, which sucks, and man he hits hard. Paralyzed and switched to Theseus. We eat a quick attack and lay stealth rocks. It helped once. Air Slash is too strong and Theseus is out after just laying down some stones. Hercules is next and Quiver Dances. Seems we're faster. Air Slash drops me to half, so we Quiver Dance again, and thankfully, we get the Paralysis. One more for good luck. We live with 24 on the Air Slash, and choose to Max Potion up. We Whirlwind, and we will deal with that bird later. Jolteon comes out. Not my ideal choice. Air Slash tickles while Thunder hits aggressively, and paralyzes. Full Restore to buy time, and this fool also has quick attack. Bug Buzz is a way better attack and drops Jolteon. Rapidash comes out, and I'm starting to have flashbacks. We Air Slash, and that, plus the Stealth Rocks, and he is gone. Pidgeot comes back out. Whirlwind, bye. I can't right now. Vileplume, that's better. Air Slash, and it's gone. Pidgeot again, more Stealth Rock damage. Whirlwind again. Marowak comes out, and we use our last Max Potion. Fire Punch. Again, I wasn't ready, but Air Slash took him down to over half. Way to go, Hercules. Rest well. Remus comes out with a little health and goes for Toxic. We go down and send out Romulus. The idea here is that we avoid ground, can Sword Dance, and Toxic will drop him, and my dumb self forgot about Offspray's items, even though I've been pumping Hercules. The fight starts even. We Wing Attack and do less than half. Trade again, but Fire Punch wins. Perseus has to go back out. Drill run is fast and hits for a KO. And it's that dang Pidgeot. Luckily, the Stealth Rocks have gone in our favor. Perseus is faster and Poison Jabs takes the KO. Slowbro is the last one and we got X Scissor for more than half. And he sets up Light Screen. It's too late for that, bud. X Scissor. He lives on a small amount of health, but so do we. Full Restore. Ugh. X Scissor again. And again, and we live on 1 HP. I don't know what to say. Another full restore. X Scissor. I'm not letting up. X Scissor. Surf. We live on 1 HP. I'm sorry. You know I can't make the game do that. Perseus is just built different. And that's it. I win. I have to say, the win feels funny. With the crazy fight Perseus the Beedrill had, but that's a part of Let's Go. This is a mechanic. This Pokemon has been with me since the forest, and I'm not going to be sorry that I loved him, and he wanted to make me proud. Guess that makes me a good trainer. I don't know. But I did it. I beat Let's Go Pikachu using only bug type with 50 other Pokemon because of rules. If you like this, hit like, consider subscribing. I want to do more Pokemon videos and I have been pushing out more content. Uh, Friendship Supreme, the podcast, Friendship Supreme, the Twitch channel, and the YouTube channel. We are trying to be here and give out friendship. Leave a comment down below of anything that you liked, anything that you didn't like, things that I can change, any rules you think I should implement. I'm all ears. This is only my second one of these videos. Again. Thanks so much for watching, and if you stayed all the way to the end, just know, 538 Pokeballs. I only used two for Caterpie and Weedle. The game gave me 538. Just so you know. Have a good one. Thanks again.